to become Ink Master, you must be able to tattoo anything that is thrown at you, no matter who designs it. Oh, shit. Ooh. So today, the men will design for the women. <laughs> shit. And the women will design for the men. Each of you must tattoo four different designs in four different styles. What are we gonna have to tattoo for 24 hours straight? I'm beat down, man. This is nuts. Each of you will create one design for the marathon. On the bottom of each skull is a name of a tattoo style. You must design a tattoo in the style you pick. If you pull artist choice, the style and the subject are completely up to you. Then, all of you must tattoo your design and the other three designs created by your competitors. What? You'll have 90 minutes to tattoo each design, one after another, on the same canvas. Whew. All right, guys, first tattoo, Matt's geometric design. You have 90 minutes to tattoo, and your time starts now. These four tattoos are the most important tattoos we've had to do this whole competition. My nerves are so shot that I can't even be nervous anymore. So I'll be damned if I'm gonna sit there and jack one of these tattoos up. Next up, everybody tattoos Craig's new school design. We're gonna do a popsicle today. Ah, freaking popsicle. You have 90 minutes and your time begins now. I draw a lot of new school, but it usually ends up being more like animals and stuff. Coming off the mandala, I'm really excited to go into this popsicle. I know that I'm gonna kill this tattoo and probably do a better job than Craig. Time is up, no more ink. <sighs> Chris's fine line black and gray design is up next. Put together a realistic all-seeing eye formation. Go ahead and lay back for me. Round three. Only 90 minutes, see, it's going really freaking quick every time. Chris drew a triangle with an eye in it. Definitely something extremely simple looking. But my canvas wants to put it on her sternum area, which definitely is a handful. Cruzman's color Japanese design is next. There you go, a little Daruma doll. The hell's a Daruma? What the hell's his other eye? That's for you to figure out. You've been tattooing for 20 years and you don't know what a Daruma doll is? Oh, Daruma. Chris asked me where his other eye was. <laughs> you have 90 minutes to tattoo, and your time starts now. Last go round. Let's do it. Are you roll? Yep. I'm so focused right now, all I need to do is 90 more minutes. One more tattoo, and I'm in that finale. Matt. How did you find the marathon, the banging out four different styles, different tattoos in a short amount of time? I mean, honestly, it's a very intense thing, for sure. You had artist choice, and you chose to do a geometric black and gray tattoo. This tattoo is really about consistency. You have all the different elements, very equidistant, line work, super tight, and I think it came out really strong. Next up is Craig's New School Popsicle. The color in this is really strong, really saturated, and I'll really commend you on just the outline on the outside of this. Really perfect, bold outline that's consistent all the way around. The thing's bulletproof. Next up is Chris's Fine Line Black and Gray Design. This one is the one that I see the most struggle, the big outside perimeter of that pupil. It's wobbly. Under the bottom lid, very undone under the eyelashes, and it stands out like a sore thumb. Next up is Cruzman's Druma doll. I really like the solid, simple approach you took to this tattoo. Just doing black shading in the face, or just that little bit of tone underneath the eyes is a very traditional way of approaching this. Very little areas for me to complain about. Who wins the tattoo marathon? The biggest landslide victory of the day was in Matt's geometric tattoo. It's the most concentric. Matt definitely wins this four-way battle right here. I agree with that, Chris. I do too. Next up, Craig's popsicle design. I'm surprised that Craig isn't the obvious winner here. 
I really like what Craig did with just the overall vibrance isn't there where I see it in Chris's and in Matt's too. I really like the cleanliness that Matt pulls off in this thing. That coming out and showing us this color bomb saturation does show a lot more versatility. I'm leaning towards Matt's. Chris's fine line black and gray was a slam dunk. Yeah, I'm definitely going with Chris on this one. I agree. Okay, next up we have Cruzman's Drumadol design. Cruzman owning this design and executing it the way he did. For me, Cruzman takes it. So everybody here, except for Craig, won their design. Matt won two challenges today. I think it's pretty clear then. The winner of the tattoo marathon is Matt. Well, Matt, that is not all. You've also earned your spot in the live finale. Congratulations. Yes. How's it feel, big fella? Feels great. That's awesome. I couldn't be any more stoked right now. This week, you must freehand a tattoo. Drawing directly on the skin without a stencil is the ultimate test of artistry. Freehand here, this is something that has a lot of room for error. In this competition, you win or lose as a shot. And this tattoo is no exception. But you each only have one tool. One of you will use a pen, and the other, a tattoo machine. It's up to you who draws and who tattoos, but once you decide, there is no going back. You have six hours to tattoo, and your time starts now. Let's go. Let's do it. This week, the tattooers are being judged on artistry. Freehanding is something that I want to know that an ink master is going to be able to do. Drawing straight on the skin, going directly to your outline with your machine. No stencils. I'll be done when the time starts, I promise. You shush. Did you say that? He's killing me right now. The person who's drawing has to quarterback the tattoo throughout because they see the vision and they have to translate that to the person that's inking it. You see how it's like darker gray there? And then it fades out? Oh, I see what you yeah, mean. Yeah, it's, it's like a little bit lighter off that shoulder. Yeah. Jesse drew the full rendering of this image. It's like I'm working off a stencil. I feel like we're gonna bounce back from last week, so I'm ready to get it done. It looks good, man. You're killing it. I told you we were gonna make a realism artist out of you yet. I'm like a proud mama right now. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Yay! What do you think, Marvin? Right. You into you it? it. Yeah. <laughs> Looks awesome. Like it? Stop. Yeah, man. Unkindness art. Doom, you drew, and Aaron, you tattooed. The composition and the artistry here really works well. The details in the headphones, very precise. It looks like you literally just used his hand for the reference. We told him to put his hand on my sketchbook and like he was, like he does, and we just drew it from that. You can see it pressured onto the record. Y'all came up with a great piece. Thank you. Thank I appreciate you. it. Pins and needles. Jesse drew and Allison tattooed. It's a very clean, very deliberate, beautiful drawing. I love the detail in the feet, in the tree, the face of the vulture, the soft shaded background. You guys did a great job here. Welcome back. Thank, Thank you, guys. you guys. All right, guys, it's now time to announce best tattoo of the day. I really like what Unkindness Art did. This is the most well-drawn. This is my winner of the day but the team in the room that has the most cohesive design would be pins and needles. Everything on their piece, it all works. That's why I lean with the girls. I love this tattoo. I gotta go with pins and needles as well. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to pins and needles. You'll be judged on all of the essential skills an Ink Master must possess. Throughout the entire competition, you have competed with or against one another, learning each other's strengths and weaknesses. Okay, it's time to use that information against each other, because today, you have the power to sabotage another artist. Oh. You will each create a six-hour line drawing. The artist you call out must tattoo your line drawing, and you must tattoo the line drawing of the artist who calls you out. <laughs> This is anybody's game right now. Tony and Tiffer need to play it smart. They need to keep each other alive right now. All right, T-Dog, 
Here's my question with Tony is, did he hand Tiffer a lob? <laughs> oh, I would kill it, which means I know you will definitely kill it. I'm pumped. Cool, man. I'm interested to see what Tiffer does, because I think he's smart. I'm excited to see all these drawings. Well, TJ, you've had this new fascination lately with Neo Trad and my style, so I gave you something that I would want to do. All right. <laughs> he's probably trying to figure out how he's going to do it in black and gray. I gotta put up, shut up, make a good tattoo out of something. I don't even know what it is. We're gonna see real quick who's actually playing to win. You have six hours to tattoo another artist's line drawing, and your time starts now. Wait, all right, let's do it, guys. Today, these artists, they are gonna be judged on both the design and the tattoo that they do. Let's hope for the best and prepare for the worst. If you do a great tattoo, but you do a drawing, you just took yourself out of the win. This line work is time consuming as <laughs> Tiffer totally threw me a shot with giving me all these lines. Oh, you're gonna do a color? Cool. I figured that'd make sense, right? I think it would look a little better, personally. I'm glad Tiffer's giving me a challenge. I'm one of those people that I strive under pressure. Did you give me all this line work on purpose? Oh, you know I did. I sacrificed a lot growing up so that I could chase this dream of racing professional motocross and supercross, and it has taught me a lot. Not to F you over. Oh no, I got that. How to be mentally prepared for anything. You can't be afraid of somebody that's better than you at the track. Yeah, dude, you're killing it. You're doing this exactly the way I wanted it to be done. I have that mental strength that a lot of people do not have. I've been training for this my whole life, and I didn't even know it. Tiffer, you're next. You got called out by Tony and had to tattoo his line drawing. I love what you did. I love the tones, the blue face, the way that you're able to punch these blues in and use that stronger, contrasted, deeper blue in the nose and recess the edges of the nose to bring that mouth forward. That skin break on the cheeks is in the right spot. Shouldn't that be a higher? It's not realistic. The way it's lit is weird. But you're looking at it from a realistic standpoint, and that's the stylized, neo-traditional. Overall, for a sticker tattoo, this is a banger. I think that's as bulletproof as bulletproof tattoos can get. <laughs> TJ, you got called out by Tiffer and had to tattoo his line drawing. Some great line work in here. The lines in the hair, super clean, super smooth. The boulder outlines in the spider legs. All the detail came out super strong. It's like a what would Tiffer do moment. The different colors you put on the end segments of the legs makes it stand out and makes it more legible. Really great attention to every detail that was in line line drawing. You pulled it off, you killed it. All right, guys, time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Tiffer and TJ, I'm sure of everything I'm looking at, no matter what the color play, but we are critiquing on design and tattoo, so when you take both things into account, that's where it takes a dive. This is a tough one, TJ, because she don't have an ear. I'm not a fan of the drawing at all. My vote is for Tiffer. Tiffer. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Tiffer. Thank you. To become Ink Master, you must be able to tattoo anything that is thrown at you, no matter who designs it. Oh, shit. Ooh. So today, the men will design for the women. <laughs> shit. And the women will design for the men. These girls are going to be ruthless with us. Each of you must create a line drawing. Each artist will then choose a line drawing designed by the opposite sex to tattoo. Oh, damn. I have a feeling that the guys are going to try and trip us up, and I'm absolutely planning on trying to trip the guys up. I'm worried nobody's going to choose this, which I think is going to count against me. you got to remember the judges are going to judge you on this. They're going to judge you on your drawing. You can trip someone up with a line drawing basically by either having too much information in it or leaving a lot of information out of it. Hi, guys. Oh, finally. What do you got? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Oh, there you go. Can I see a robot? He's like a happy one. These are both cool. I've never done a robot, so I don't even know how to do it. And I think I could pay this tattoo some respect. Definitely going to take Laura's tattoo. I think that's a good choice. Man, can I like, pick your brain? I shouldn't even be helping you. I know, but you, you want me to do cool tattoos. Yes, I do. I'm trying to, I want I'm you to do, to do justice to my little robot. That's, and that's boy. my goal here. 
I'm like debating like doing the trim, like these and like the joints and the eyes all in a different tone metal. You could also do rust. Oh man, that's a cool idea. Instantly, I know what this thing looks like. I'm not surprised at all that Laura is willing to help me out. We both have a lot of respect for each other. So were you always into art or always. were you just like straight into, yeah? Yeah, that is all I ever did in school. Growing up, I was always kind of the weird kid, but I stayed true to my roots and uh, I never changed who I was for anyone else. Drawing and getting beaten up, that was about it. Yeah. Assholes. Yeah. I opened up a shop and I became successful. Who's laughing now? Exactly. Of course you picked the robot, yeah. Of course I did, man. Who else is gonna pick this tattoo? I see nobody took my tattoo. Nope. I got the choice between party bot and, oh, no, uh, I would have chose this one. Yeah, right, yeah no, I, I don't blame you. Three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. That's a clean-ass tattoo, my friend. You ain't lying. All right. You now have a broccoli wizard tattooed on you. It's and perfect. it's super <laughs> cool. In this war, you never know when karma might come back to bite you. I don't know why I feel so scared. You designed a line drawing to take out a member of the opposite sex. But hopefully you didn't dish out more than you can handle. What does that mean? Because each of you must tattoo your own line drawing. Oh, oh. Thank oh. Jesus. You'll have six hours to tattoo. Your canvases have been randomly assigned. And based on both of your tattoos, one of you will be eliminated. So we don't even get a critique yet. What a twist. Check out this broccoli wizard, man. Nice, I like the skin breaks. And that's how I'm doing the whole top, man. I think that was the one problem that Alexis has had, was that it was too claustrophobic for me. Didn't breathe much, man. This is my chance to bring this guy to life the way he's supposed to be. I like him, man. He's got a lot of personality for a piece of That's broccoli. what the women say about me. Three, two, one. That's it, machine's down. Time is up, no more ink. That's it for today. Hell yeah, the colors are awesome. That's something to pull off. I don't know how you pull it off. Magic. <laughs> Let's move on to Jason's line drawing. It gets kind of muddy in the face and in the top of the broccoli itself. If you could have lightened up a little bit in the florets and brought more life to them, I love the fact that you're pushing yourself to do challenging designs. Just a little bit of the application gets away. Jason. We really like this drawing. Really creative, different reach. Your application on this is super slick, man. These smooth, multi-tones of different green that kind of blend together with the open skin make each one of these stalks come to life. More than anything, it is crisp and clean. That solid approach with letting things breathe in this competition, it's what's gonna win. Moving on. Jason, you tattooed Laura's design. You do a great tattoo here. And to take it from that weathered look and then go into the clean hat, which clearly has not been with it its entire life, is a nice touch of detail. Again, you hit it out of the park in your execution. You're competing. Thanks, guys. Wow. Laura. This thing is the best. The style and execution that you have here and the way that you understand how to capture chrome is great. What I get excited about is real soul and real coolness to tattooing. The thing looks amazing. If you choose creepy, Jason, you will not hurt my feelings whatsoever. <laughs> Thank God I don't have to choose, so they both win. Wow. You chose Cam's line drawing. Did you change the line drawing? The scales, just to kind of keep the integrity of the tattoo so it would age better. That's what traditional dragon scales look like, but there's a lot of anatomy on this that's strange. The horn on the left side is incredibly huge. It throws the rhythm of the dragon off a little bit. It's tough. All right, guys, we have to determine who had the best tattoos of the day. Jason immediately has two standout tattoos. He drew for himself, and he picked something just like what he would draw. He found his lane. Jason for the win. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to Jason. Thank you, guys, and uh, thank you, Laura. What are you doing? Don't worry about it. <laughs> it's going to be some biomech shit. The real drawing battle is going to be between Jimmy and Hiram. Why well, do you want something that has a lot of lines? One of these. Yes. Some devious shit, buddy. And me and Jarrell. Jarrell's not going to know I hit him. I think Jarrell's going to shit his pants when he sees this drawing. This is what you get when you challenge me, Jarrell. 
All right, Bob. What'd you make for me? Tried to give you something cool. Oh, right. Not, not, nothing boring with that. What? This <laughs> is so sick. Bob is my teammate, so I'm going to give him everything that I can for him to succeed. I'm giving him the shading reference. I've colored it like a million different ways. So cool. Kill it, Bob. All right, let's see what the shit. Could you have something special? What the f is it? <laughs> it's gonna be savage as What the f is it? You said you wanted to do biomech, so I cooked up some biomech for you, I man. I hardly, oh my god. <laughs> have fun with that one. Get the f out of here. What'd you get? What the f is that? I don't know. Love you, Darrell. No. That's not love, Bob. So you have six hours to tattoo another artist's line drawing, and your time starts now. It's true to me, bro. You like monkeys? Yeah. Cool, me too. <laughs> and get the to two of the day. We're gonna get the biggest upset in Ink Master history. It looks weird, but you'll love it. <laughs> Look at you, buddy. Yeah, I know. Look what happens when Angel does my drawings. I know, right? They turn out pretty cool. Machine's down, time is up. We're done. No more ink. Ooh. It's phenomenal. The color saturation and the shadow, yes. Yeah. Before we critique your work, there is one more thing you should know. What the Of course there is. You called out an artist, and that artist had to tattoo your line drawing. But you'd better hope you didn't dish out more than you can handle. What does that mean? Because each of you must tattoo your own line drawing. What? Holy shit. I'm telling you, girl, you gotta kill it for the ladies. It's time. There's, <laughs> there's some pressure on me right now. I love this design. The only thing that sucks about this is that Bob did the tattoo exactly how I wanted to do it. So I gotta think a little differently. That's the worst, right there. There's one spot every time you hit my leg, twitches. There's a couple spots. <laughs> the canvas is moving around, jerking around, twitching. Just because my canvas is in pain doesn't mean I can have an unfinished tattoo and let Darrell beat me at what I'm good at. No. This is my shit. What's up? I mean, look at all your lines, Bob. I look great. Anybody can pull a line on a thigh, Bob. Look at that secondary light source. What? It's all right. Coming over here. Talk of shit. I can be successful no matter what is thrown my way. Let's move on and look at what you designed for Bob. Angel, I really like this drawing. Thank you. The smoothness of this application is completely different from your other tattoo. The shading that you have in the face really gives it that lizard-like feel, but this yellow color just becomes pretty similar against your canvas's skin. With a different color choice, you could have really made this thing pop. Bob. You had to tattoo Angel's line drawing. You do a great job figuring out what colors you wanted to really make that thing jump off the skin. I love that salmon-y kind of tone pushing out into the green. I love your take on the mouse and how little hints of color actually makes that mouse whiter. For me, Bob's pops off the skin a little bit more. Thank you. <laughs> Let's take a look at Bob's design that he made for Jarrell. The amount of layering that you get from the pink overlay of the piece coming out of the top of the claw to then using a richer pink and then a lighter pink behind it and then coming with the deeper red behind that, it's monochromatic, but it shows depth and layering. You do a really nice job on this tattoo. I applaud you for designing this because anybody who gets your tattooed is instantly thrown a versatile challenge. Jarrell, you had to tattoo Bob's line drawing. I love the exterior of the claw. This richer, darker red with your black really helps your piece. Couldn't be two further ways to approach this tattoo, but both came out super strong. All right, judges, it's time to determine who had the best tattoos of the day. I love Bob's drawing. It pushed the artist to be artistic. And what Bob did, translating Angel's drawing, I mean, that's my favorite tattoo of the day. That's my favorite of the day as well. My vote is for Bob. Bob for the win. First one? Yes. Yeah. The judges have decided the best tattoos of the day go to Bob. 